I don't remember what those purple plants are. I planted them probably about 20 years ago when I first bought this house. And this all used to be a garden back here. And some things still come up as volunteer uh, items. And uh, I don't do a lot of maintenance back here out front. The lawn is manicured, but I kind of let this go natural and enjoy the woods and the deer and wild turkeys and so forth. But today we're out here for a two, two and a half week update on the pond. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of clearing on that. Uh, of some of the plants which have really grown in as a thick mat and I'm gonna just push all of that aside uh, oh before I forget I did add some water plants uh, here that uh, I'd actually just dropped down in there with mud and gravel on the end of them my local fish store is often asked to come out and set up aquariums, ponds, take down things, so forth. And these were taken out of a pond for someone that had decided not to keep their large pond anymore. And there were tons of these plants and others that they were given away. And I finally, after a couple of weeks, felt sorry for the plants. They were just sitting in buckets out in the sun and brought some of these home a couple weeks ago and they are doing great in here. I don't know what they are. I will probably move them over when the weather gets cold to the dark hole that you see down there that's uh, a few hundred gallons of plastic pond all covered up in the weeds there. So that's my plan. Um, so back to the fish. Um, I'm continuing to see lots of fish. Um, some are probably about grown now that have been out here most of the summer. Um, I've seen sword tails with tails that have grown halfway in. Um, I've seen white clouds. I've seen mollies. Uh, there's some little marigold or sunset baratus fry right there. Uh, actually tons of them everywhere just coming out of the top of this um, I'm going to do a couple of scoops like I did previously but I also have a net if that fails so let's see what we have if anything at all I don't see anything in there How about that so, I'm going to hang on to this water and put it right there. I think I've got it balanced. As you can see, it's still tannin laden from all the leaves in the bottom of the pond. Uh, now that I've stepped back a little bit and, excuse me, I've gotten out of the water, some of the other little bit bigger fry and adult fish are starting to swim out from the grass and uh, it's very hard to see them since the sun's not out so I'm gonna just kind of drop a net down in here and see if I can get a little bit under there oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah let's see what see what we have sorry my camera skills have not improved any over the summer, that's for sure. Uh, these are all fry that would have been born in here. And I'm still hoping to find that elusive. Uh, there's a little sword tail to the left. Uh, there's some marigold varatus. Yes, yes, there's a white cloud and it's an adolescent, it's at least halfway grown. There are two white clouds in there. There are two white clouds in there. Now these are not long fin because I backed out on putting those out here. Um, I will definitely do that next year, but these are white clouds that would have came out as eggs on these plants. Look at that, wow, 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 wow. So with one scoop, in one small area of this hundred odd gallon tub, I probably have a few dozen white clouds in here. Um, I definitely have a couple of hundred fish, if not more, 
Uh, so I'll be real eager in a couple of uh, weeks to begin breaking this down. Today is Friday, August the 30th in the middle of the afternoon. It's overcast today. The tub feels nice and uh, cool, probably 75, 78. Feels really nice. But again, get in close and try to get a little better shot. Of course, we have lots of leaves. These are leaves that started out in the spring in there. Um, but just look at the color on those gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I have inside versions too that have uh, had lots of babies over the same period of time and they're not nearly as colorful as these. I'm just thrilled about the about the white clouds. That's definitely a little green sword tail there. Um, so Get these guys back in there and again this is with absolutely no aeration absolutely no filtration just rain water it rained last night as a matter of fact so the tub is nice and full um, and just gorgeous fish that have uh, spawned and had their fry in here so, just out of curiosity, not to, to bore us uh, to death, but I want to do one more, one more scoop uh, with the net. Since I was so successful with that scoop, just do one more. Lots of mom in the water there, you can see from the bottom. So, let's do a quick see if anything catching this thing. Sorry, I'm using my camera holding hand to pick through. Um, yes. Let's see what we have in here. We've got more of the gold variatus. I thought I saw just a gorgeous green, wild green sword tail in there. Uh, but just making a mess with the camera here. I'm sorry. Yeah, look at that. Look at the color on that. That's just a plain wild green sword tail. Look at that. Oh my God. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. That's an eight minute video and most of it's boring and bad camera work. So, thanks for stopping. Thanks for watching. Uh, give this a like if you liked it, um, and if you didn't, give it a dislike, um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, and you guys come back now, you hear?